Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you concept of how to get the phone information. It means phone state information. Like uh, I want to know the software version, serial number of the phone, network country operator name, network ISO name, is my SIM is ready or not, which kind of phone I am using, is it CDMA, GSM, or what kind of device it is. So to get all this information, let's start developing a project. First of all, you can click on start new android studio project then you can choose the empty activity and then you can click on next here you can provide the name of your application here i am giving the name of my application that is telephony detail and then you can choose the language i am using the language that is kotlin then you can start developing your android studio project it will start loading the project and uh, uh, all this gradle building will be started now it's a time first of all what i want so uh, let me start with the design first in design i want that uh, user whatever the information about my emulator is that should be available over here in my design right so i am uh, removing this hello world then you can uh, click on show layout decoration then uh, i want to hear one edit text before edit text i am uh, adding one text view over here you can uh, click on info the constraint then you can move to the design here i am uh, giving the title that is phone information uh, let me give the color text color is primary dark text size uh, for example 30 sp is fine then you can uh, give the text style that is bold now what kind of information and where you want the information so i am taking here one multi-line text you can just uh, move uh, over here drag and drop and then you can click on the info constraint whenever you are taking the edit text definitely um, with the multi-line you need to define the number of lines so i am just giving one property over here that is line i want the uh, 10 lines over here right now whatever my phone information that i want to display over here uh, let me add one property here enabled false right so whatever i set over here uh, that cannot be changed by the user now let me start with the coding whenever you want the information about your phone you need a permission to access your phone state so whenever you want to access all this data you need a permission from the user so let me write the code uh, activity compact dot you need to check for the permission this here you need to select the manifest from android manifest dot permission dot read phone state is the permission if it is not granted by the user package manager dot permission granted if it is not granted then request for the same you can just request request the permission manifest here uh, you need to provide the variable number of arguments uh, so you can use the array of manifest dot permission dot read phone state whatever the number of permission that you want to add here you can add the number of permission now i am giving the one code over here that request code is 111 if that permission is already granted by the user then i want to get the telephony details so i definitely i need to create this function get telephony detail i want to create this function uh, in my current class right so i am just creating the same here on permission request result it means if request permission is granted then what you want to do so i want to do if request code is equal equal 111 and and grant results of zero is equal equal package manager dot permission granted if the permission is granted then what you want to do definitely we will call the get telephony detail function now whenever you starting like this now uh, permission is over check permission is over but you need to define this permission over here in manifest file so here in android manifest file you need to define the permission uses permission read phone state now i want to get the information about my telephone so let me initialize the variable variable tm is equal to 
I want to this variable of telephony manager. So I am just defining it as a type of telephony manager. Here you can just call the function that is get system services. And here you can define the telephony services. Once you pass the telephony services over here, it will give you an error. Why? Because of, uh, it returns the any object. You need to cast it to the telephony manager. Why? Because we assign it as a, we declared it as a telephony manager. Once you declare this variable, now you can access the function. You can access the cell info. You can access the call state. You can access data state. You can access device software version. I want to know the software version, right? But whenever you are do like this, it uh, will ask you to add the permission check before access this you can add this and you can write like this if this permission is not granted by the user then return from over here right now i am defining one variable over here variable data is equal to device software version plus slash n then i want something add more that is a tm dot not only device version I want that same serial number right so you can get the same serial number plus a slash n I want uh, to add over here tm dot now I want to know the network country ISO which country is providing the uh, my telephony information it can be USA it can be India uh, and so on here you can define the network country ISO then you can define the network country operator name for example uh, Geo, Vodafone, Idea like the company name right so you can just define here you can get that which company uh, operator name is there so here you can get the network operator name once you get all these details into your data variable you can append this into your edit text so let me add it to edit text dot you can set text and you can define your data once you define your data you can call your application and this will definitely execute your application it will asking you for the permission first once you grant the permission it will get the software version serial number network country iso and network country operator name let me clear over here this is my virtual emulator so in this virtual emulator might be a chance that uh, it, it is virtual so uh, network country operator name and serial number and it, it will be also a virtual see um, it is asking me for the permission i am allowing permission see here you can get the serial number you can get the usa is the uh, network uh, country iso name and android is the network operator name but if you execute this in your actual form it will instead of android it will give you the name of your provider uh, geo is the provider idea is the provider vodafone is the provider bsnl is the provider so it will give you a network operator name if you want to uh, print over here not only this sometimes what happen we want to know that what kind of phone i am using is it a cdma phone or gsm phone or what kind of phone it is right so here you can just check let me check here uh, you can just get the variable font type is equal to tm dot you can call the function that is font type font type can be cdma font type can be json so you can just pass it into your van van is like a switch uh, available over here uh, in switch is available in java and van is available in kotlin so here you can just pass your font type and you can check telephony manager dot font type if the font type is a cdma then i want to add content to my data right so if this is a cdma then you can just simply write here like this data is equal to data plus and you can just say that if the font is cdma and you can just slash add slash n now not only this i want to check that it might be a gsm font global uh, system communication right uh, for mobile communication so you can add the telephony manager dot font type gsm if it is a gsm then i want to set here the message that is it is a gsm phone and might be a chance it is a none so you can just check telephony manager dot font type none if it is none then i want to set here message that is 
it is none right and then also you can execute the same and uh, it will get that uh, this phone is a gsm phone or this phone is a cdma phone see here uh, you will get the message that android and gsm right once you get all these things over here now it's a time to add that uh, is a sim card is available in my phone or not so you can get the information about the sim card also so let me declare the one variable sim state is equal to you can get the telephony manager dot get sim state here you can define the slot uh, in which slot you want to get the sim state right in first slot or second slot because sometimes what happen uh, in dual sim card phone uh, multiple sim card is also available so here you can define the slot of your sim card also right i am uh, checking it in a first slot so no need to pass the argument here you can just pass when sim state it can be absent uh, it may, might be a chance the sim card is not available in my phone right so you can just check telephony manager dot sim state uh, sim state are uh, these are the sim state it can be ready mode absent mode card to error mode restricted mode network locked mode not ready mode pin required mode unknown mode so many modes are there in which state it is so i'm just checking that is it in absent mode if it is absent mode then i want to set it to my data that data is equal to data and then you can just set the message that sim card is absent right same way i want to set the message that is a sim card is ready so you can just check that telephony manager dot sim card ready if it is ready then you can just set the message that sim is ready right and then you can again check into your application once you run this application it will give you a message that is a sim is ready or not what kind of operator it is what your serial number is see android usa gsm and sim card is ready right so a uh, sim card is ready to call suppose if you think that i want to get the call uh, state information right so you can get to listen for the um, call state also this is the way you can do uh, here in your code let me add here code suppose if you want that i want to listen for the code <coughs> listen for the call so you can just provide here argument that is object colon phone state listener here uh, you can just pass the constructor of the same and then you can uh, provide one argument over here what you want to read for your phone state so you can just add here phone state listener dot listen call state i want to listen for the call state for this you need to override one method over here and that method name is on call state change whenever the call state is changed uh, it will give you two things one is the state and another is the phone number right so here you can pass this value into your van and you can pass the state in state you can get that uh, if telephony manager dot call state call state can be a ringing mode it can be idle mode it can be a off hook mode, off hook mode you can set this ringing mode over here right and then you can write the code for the same i'm just writing that if the code uh, if that value is in a ringing mode then i'm just uh, setting value into data data is equal to phone is ringing right and you can also check that telephony manager dot call state idle here you can check that uh, you can set the value is data is equal to phone is idle right and you can uh, also check that it is off hook or not right let me check my uh, this application is working or not but see uh, i set the value into data but i not uh, didn't make any uh, toast over here so i'm just making here toast dot make text in current context print the data and load it for the length long and you can call the dot show whenever you execute this application what it will do it will get the information about the phone and it will get the call state information let's see see phone is in idle mode and these are the phone information suppose let me call over here so if somebody is calling me right if somebody is calling me 
I will get the message over here phone is ringing let's see here you can click on phone and you can call click on call device whenever you click on call device, see here toast is coming that is phone is ringing but if you decline over here see it is it says the message that is phone is idle suppose if I um, make the call from another number 90990-76159 and if I call the device phone is ringing if you decline this it will give you a message that is phone is in idle mode this is the way you can test your phone you can write the code for phone information you can get the information about your sim phone type uh, phone state listener you can get the software version sim card information network country ISON, and so many other things also you can get uh, this is the same way you can get using the telephony manager that's it from my side Thank you for listening me. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.